hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm doing something that I haven't done for a long, long time. I am doing a little haul video. And these are things that I bought on Black Friday or on Black Friday week. I don't know. And I have some packaging that is on the way home to me but that I haven't bought on Black Friday. And uh, yeah, I think we just hop into this. So it's mostly eyeshadow palettes. I have gone a little bit insane. But we're getting to that, so I think I can start with the three things that isn't eyeshadow palettes first. So first off, I have a new skincare thing. I bought a new Fureo UFO. This is the UFO 2. I bought a mint. I have the UFO mini, but I splurged. And bought this one. I really like these. These are so bougie. This is... I just love this. So if you don't know what this is, I have a little video on my Instagram where I use this and show you how it's working. So if you want to see, just go into my Instagram. But it is a smart masking device. I love this and I love this so so much, the number two. Another thing that is not an eyeshadow palette, I bought an empty palette from Nabla. I bought this on Beauty Bay on their Black Friday sale. I really love the size of Nabla's empty palettes and they are really like, they are really good. I have, this is my third one I think, in this size I have the biggest one and some smaller ones. But it was so so cheap. I can really recommend if you see Nabla's empty palettes on sale because they are so good. And last thing that isn't an eyeshadow palette, I bought Linda Holberg's new Infinity Brows Sketch and Sculpt. I don't know why I do this. It has one of these normal pens on one side and then... On the other side, it has this one. I like it. I use the normal pen when I'm going to work and just to fill in like the beginning of the brows and the other one when I have a little bit more time with my brows. I like this one. I have it in the color blonde, I think. And I actually think it is a good color. It's not too warm. It's not too cold. I like it. I think I... Brow pens can be a little bit expensive, but yeah, <laughs> I like it. So, okay, let's go into the eyeshadow palettes, and it is eight. I don't know how many of these you have seen, but it's coming videos with all of them, either a first impression or a get read with me. I have bought my... I bought this from Look Fantastic. This is Lime Crimes Prelude Chroma. And this is my second Lime Crime palette, and this palette, I was like so intrigued with this color story. I don't know why, but I was scrolling on Look Fantastic, and I saw this, and I was like, okay, I want to buy it. So, yeah, I have the Venus too, so yeah, I hope this is good. That one is good. So, I hope for this one as well. From Nabla, I bought the side by side nude palette. I have done first impression with this one. And I actually really like it. I have used it outside of YouTube. Me and my boyfriend, we were out eating. It is okay to do it in Sweden. We were really careful. Everything is good. We didn't talk to anybody except the waitress. So yeah, I used this then and I really, really liked this palette actually. First, I was not planning on buying it. It was a really good price on Beauty Bay when it was Black Friday. So yeah, of course, because this is a Black Friday haul. So I bought this. So happy that I did it. And now I have all the palettes from Nabla. That's good. I can take the other 
two palettes that I bought that was on sale and then we can go into the things that I bought that was not on sale but was releasing on Black Friday so I finally bought the Nomad Oriental Express I've talked about this before I've been wanting this for a while but the shipping from Nomad is pretty high and uh, on Black Friday this was 50% off so even though it cost like the original price with shipping and customs and everything for me it still was on sale <laughs> that's how you have to think about it when you have to pay customs and the thing that surprised me this is like soft it's a velvet palette maybe everybody know that except for me I think I can show you this It looks like this. So this is a pretty neutral palette, but with some pop of colors. But this is just one of these palettes. It's something about it that makes me want it. So when Nomad put up on their Instagram that it was 50% off, like Friday on this one, I bought it as soon as I could. And it actually came really, really fast. Um, last time I ordered from Nomad was like in the beginning of the pandemic and it took three months I think um, now it only took two weeks really really super fast so I also bought the next palette I don't know what came over me but I did it I bought a Greek goddess from Lunar Beauty who am I? I really love Lunar Beauty. I love Moonspell and I love Strawberry Dream. So I bought this Greek goddess, yes, maybe because I wanted like all the palettes. And this is one of my most neutral palettes. It looks like this. This is so freaking neutral. If I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't on sale, but I guess if it is the same good quality, I guess this is going to be good. I don't know if you want a video on this one. I might put it in a get ready with me or something. But I have it and I really like the like aesthetic of the palette, but I don't really know why I bought it. So okay, the last four palettes that was releasing on Black Friday. I bought the new Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse. And this one, the videos I have seen on this one, I have loved them. And this is a little bit hard to get out of the packaging. Maybe I should have done this before. That's not, that's just how I roll. So first of all, I love the packaging. This moon is a little bit raised, so it's like the strawberry dream. I just really love it. And the inside of this palette, it looks like this. So it's kind of neutral, but like the row, the bottom row, it looks amazing. And it has a gold, it has a silver. And I am so excited to use this. And this is coming first impression on this one. I really, really do like it. And I think with Lunar Beauty, things often look better in real life than on pictures. And that makes me happy. It would have been hard if it was the other way around. Another release that I bought, this released before Black Friday, but on Beauty Bay it came to Black Friday. And this is the two new Melt and Bill Use palettes. I have a video up on this one and I have a video up on this one. My favorite of these two is, of course, the recently deceased. The green and purple, mostly because of the greens. And this palette is so good. I have tried all of the shades and they, they just look and work so so good and the palette i have on today is the waiting room and this is i don't know if this is more my style or not but like the top row this one the red one amazing and the bottom row 
gray is not my favorite but I couldn't buy like the release from Melton only buy one of the palettes but so far I really like these two and uh, the quality feels so so good and it's like stirred palettes so so happy that I bought these one as well and the last thing I bought on Black Friday is the Lethal Velvet Dusk and uh, I don't think it comes as a surprise that I love Lethal's shadows. I don't even want to know how many I have. So this were the new... I'm going to try to have the plastic off. This is the new Grungeer already made palette. You can buy these as singles if you want to, but I love to buy these pre-made palettes from Lethal. And it looks like this. And I like this shade, and this shade, and this shade. I haven't used this yet when I'm filming this. I think this might be my next first impression that I'm filming. But I just love it. This was inspired by the 90s. I guess that the Off the Dark is the 80s, and this is the 90s. And I, I just love this grunge. I love grunge looks. If you didn't know, it's my favorite. And do you know what? That was all for my Black Friday haul. I never know what to say when I'm doing a haul video. That is why I never do them. I also bought some skincare more than the UFO, but I didn't include them in this because I don't know if you would see that or not. The two palettes that I'm still waiting on is Shroud and Beauty Beans freaking bats. I I want it now, but it still hasn't shipped, I think, and I, I bought it on the pre-orders. I really hope that it will start to ship soon because I want to have it and hold it in my arms. And the other one is the Raw Beauty Christie at Forest Sight. Her collab with ColourPop. I don't know where my package is. It's not here with me. It's on the way. So I'm so looking forward to play with that one as well because the swatches and the pictures has looked amazing and also when people have used it. So yeah, that was my Black Friday haul. If it any special or... Okay. Cut. I take it in. If it is any of these products that you really, really want to see and want to see much of, Please let me know. It will come a first impression of all of these, I think. So it might come a lot of first impressions. Because I have a lot of palettes that I haven't filmed with. But yeah. So, okay. That was all for this video. I really hope you liked it. It, it has been such a long time since I have done a whole video. But it's just because I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to act. I don't know anything about doing haul videos. I don't know what my problem is. But yeah, that's why it doesn't come any haul videos. Yeah, I really hope you like this video and I hope that I will see you tomorrow. Bye!